Hey, it's Pastor Mike. Before we get started with today's episode, I want to encourage you to check out our other Time of Grace podcasts, like this one, The Non-Microwave Truth by C.L. Whiteside. C.L. just has an amazing way to bring fresh perspective to some of my favorite passages from the Bible. You can search for The Non-Microwave Truth wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. And now on to today's episode. This week we've been thinking about unknown heroes of faith in the Bible, and, and I think I've got a real stumper for you today, okay? So are you ready for this? Do you know these three names? Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. You know them? If you don't know those Hebrew Jewish names, maybe you know their other Babylonian names, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I have to admit, when, when I was a kid, I didn't really want to hear this bedtime story because I always thought the last guy's name was To Bed We Go. And I'm like, no, I don't want to go to bed right now. But no, it's, it's Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are their names. And if you're still stumped, if you're still stumped, maybe you've heard of the story about these three, the three men in the fiery furnace. Well, let me tell you a little more about this. It's about 600 B.C., and the big king is King Nebuchadnezzar. Many of the Israelites had been swept away into captivity, and Nebuchadnezzar was smart. He knew that he wanted to do away with these people, so he took the strongest, the brightest, the best, the youngest to his land of Babylon. And then he tried to do away with all of their culture to totally incorporate them into Babylonian life. Well, you can imagine this did not sit well with God's people. They wanted to preserve their line and, and their family line of God's promise for the coming Messiah. And they wanted to obey God's laws for their culture and customs too. And so Daniel, like famous Daniel in the lion's den, Daniel proposed that there's a little test. And so Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would have this test where they only eat vegetables and drink water for 10 days. And let's see what happens. Let's see how we compare. Sure enough, they test out to be wiser, greater, stronger than all of Nebuchadnezzar's men. And, and these Jews in exile are promoted by King Nebuchadnezzar. Awesome story about standing firm in the faith. But that's not the end of the story or their last encounter with King Nebuchadnezzar. The more notorious story is a little while later when Nebuchadnezzar, who was, well, say a little bit arrogant and selfish, he, he builds this giant statue, this idol that's like 90 feet tall and nine feet wide. And, and he gives this order that whenever the right music is played, they should all bow down and worship. So it's not only worshiping an idol, but kind of worshiping Nebuchadnezzar too. Well, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refuse. And they say, our God can deliver us from this or from anything that might be his will. It might not, but we will not bow down to another God. Well, Nebuchadnezzar and his men were furious. And so they have the consequence all set this fiery furnace and they crank up the heat to be seven times hotter than normal. So hot that, that even the standing soldiers nearby there, they die just being near the fire. And so they throw in these three men. And sure enough, as they look into the fire, not only are they not dead, but there's a fourth person there, an angel of the Lord, who's standing with them, guarding and protecting. So they didn't die. They weren't burned. Not even a hair on their head was singed. They didn't even smell like smoke or look like they had been around a campfire. So Nebuchadnezzar clearly found out who the real true God is from Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I'm willing to bet that you have not been faced with the threat of being thrown into a fiery furnace, but I know you have stood the test of fires before. Maybe you've had a situation at work with a boss or the company making it difficult for you to arrange your schedule to be at church, to be at worship or Bible study or, or to serve with your gifts somehow. Maybe you have a coworker who just lets their mouth run with all kinds of foul and obscene and filthy things and you don't know what to say. Or maybe it's a social media battle. You know, not a fight, but that, that people would make fun of you or mock Christianity and the God that you worship and you, you feel that pressure from pervading culture around us. When you face the fire, know that what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said is true. 
our God can and will deliver you. Now, whether he delivers you in this life or delivers you to the next life in heaven, our God will do that. And that's according to his will. But you can be just like those men and take your stand with confidence that you will worship and follow no other God but the one true God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And when you stand firm in that faith, like these three men, that makes you an unsung hero of faith too.